In today's video, we talk luggage. That's right, I have toured the country on both American V-Twins and on dual sports like this, and the way the two pack is completely different from one another. Today, we take a deep inside look of the American V-Twin culture and the way they travel the country on their motorcycles. Talking luggage, man. Seeing what you got for gear, how you get across the country. Got this karaoke bag, uh, then got this nice 12 by 12 duffel bag. This holds all my tent. You know, I keep that all separate. So if I stay in a hotel, I can just take this off, throw it in the corner. But if you go camping, then I use all that to put all my camping stuff in. Now, is this dry or do you got to cover it? Got to cover that I got in it just in case. Yep. Then this just gets all wet if it gets wet. Word. All right, so we got the Road King and just a backpack strapped to the back. Yeah. Ratchet strap. Just a ratchet strap. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah, buddy. That's all you need for a weekend, right? Yeah. Over here, we got the tent. Looks like you got a dry bag back here. And then you got the saddle men, saddle bag. So that one has to have a cover. So you just cover that one and the rest of it's good to stay. Yeah. Looks good. Bike looks good. And it's all just strapped yeah. to the sissy bar, see? That one's definitely the wide load. Old military sack stuck on there. Bunch of bungee cords. Get the job done, Lil. We got the Mercedes Tour Pack here. It works great. The wife drives it. Now, does that Tour Pack come with a rain fly or is it watertight? It's watertight. No, yeah, no watertight. rain fly needed. Oh, what's the price tag? Oh, the price. For, uh, for the luggage? Oh, for the luggage? Uh, that one's about uh, 65K. Oh, okay. <laughs> cheap. <laughs> Real cheap. <laughs> Here's one a little bit higher. Got the sleeping bag on top. Tent off the back. And he is going to Texas. All right, we're talking luggage and packing across country. How far are you going with this gear today? I'm going right to Dallas. It's like a three-hour drive. Not too bad, but you got the, uh, is that the Biltwell bag as well? Is it? Yeah. Yes. And it's dry bag. You don't have to put a cover over it. Nope. So it does actually come with a rain poncho up here. It's heavy, heavy rain, but... It does. And it's neat because it's a little zipper right underneath. So if you get cold in it, just pull over, unzip it, pull it out. It's connected. You just throw it over your luggage. And Get go. back on and go. Looks good, man. All right, we got a couple more here. This one looks like it's strapped to the sissy bar, but he's got his vest over it right now. And this guy's keeping it low. Just a backpack, bungee cords. Get it done. He's got it built up, so he's got a backrest. <laughs> built out of his luggage. Creekside camp, just showing the luggage, man. Showing how everybody's traveling. So he's keeping it strapped down like that. A couple bungee straps. There's tea bags. And you see this one just straps right to the sissy bar and then you can put other load in front of it. So you can stack both sides of that sissy bar. That comes with the actual sissy bar strap on the tea bag. Another little low and mean, just a little backpack strapped to the back. No sissy bar needed. There's another tea bag set up. Again, that one you got to have the uh, rain fly, but it's got the sissy bar strap. And if it gets wet, you'll put a rain fly to it. It zips in half right here, so the top flips open so you can get in easy. T-Bag makes some pretty good luggage. The tour pack always makes it easy to pack. Yep. <laughs> Is that built well bag? Yeah. Got everything in the kitchen sink. Nice. <laughs> you like it? To keep your stuff dry? Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. I like it a lot. Here's a couple smaller packs. Again, a dry bag. So these are rubber. They seal out the water. You just roll that top down and then usually you just clip it to itself. And you can lean that up against a sissy bar or something like that. Those dry bags are becoming the popular bag for motorcycles. The only bad part is, is you gotta dig through everything up top to get what's in the bottom. This one says nothing but a tent needed. <laughs> I need no gear, I need no clothes. Just kidding, I'm sure there's some luggage going on here still. All right, y'all, this is where I'm gonna close out the video. I'm gonna leave you with a little montage of guys riding their bikes with their luggage on so you can see how the posture and how the fitment works. But other than that, it was a wild ride, wild weekend here at the K River Campground. I hope you all enjoyed the last few videos showing you some bikes, some exhaust, some camping, some fun, and uh, now their luggage. Y'all, take that road trip, take that camping trip, load up your bike. Literally, you can fit what you need on that bike. You can go get down on the river like here at the K River Campground, and you can have some fun. You just set your mind to it and stay stubborn. <laughs>